bro, Black Man 94 here. I'm going to be reacting to Gotham Season 4, Episode 13, A Beautiful Darkness. So let's get to reacting. Can I help you? Oh, she's still using that perfume? I thought, like, her own body would, like, freaking still There's control so people and things. Your perfume turns people into your super fans? Like all good things, it'll fade. But until then, they're mine. I thought you knew about that. My friend thinks we're here to rob you. But I know who you work for. Roland Charles, PhD. How you torture plants in the name of science. Oh. You'll share more with them than you ever could have imagined. Oh, she cut him. Now essence is in him, and now he's gonna die, painfully. And his family watches him die like that. Oh, Ivy, Ivy. My boss is Sophia Falcone. Hmm. <laughs> so you gotta get him out. <laughs> is that so? You can't do this. I got rights. Oh yeah. How about you exercise your right to remain silent? Silent. No. Briefcase is missing. Maybe this is related to his work at Wayne Biotech? Doubtful. He oversaw standard projects, pharmaceuticals, pesticides. What? Nothing. Nah, you know something, man. He just killed a man in front of his family. He had it coming. You have no idea <laughs> what these people... Oh, we're gonna get her to sing that song now. Selena, leave me alone. Enjoy your shrubs. Hmm. Yes, yeah, she's out. Oh, she got in. <laughs> you know, I've had some crazy nights. But I've never bought a talking bird. Billionaire boy. Ivy. Yup. Hold up, she kissed Bruce. <laughs> oh, through his calling card. Even though he ain't this the Joker. I'm gonna cure you of this attitude, Oswald. I'm gonna find that entertaining guy. I know what's inside of you. And what I do. Oh, you are gonna have so much fun. <laughs> oh, what you haven't planned, Jerome? She gonna cut him? Oh. It'll be slow. And it'll be painful. But it's what you deserve. Let's see how he's gonna get out of this. Just the thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's hallucinating. No, never heard of it. I'm Dr. Green. No! No! Ooh. Yo. Mommy always used to say a little pruning encourages growth. Where are you taking my face? Thanks, Poppy. Where are you taking my face? What's happening to me? My dear boy. I thought we were going to see some flesh, though, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, even the freaking police people in here don't even care. What's that? You want to do a clown dance? Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice, Penguin. <laughs> oh, just clotheslined ya. Should have just jumped. Because a jerk with a badge was chasing me. She can use plants to hypnotize people and poison them. So why'd you want to kill Roland? Because he works for Wayne Enterprises. Wayne Enterprise. She's obsessed with the super secret project they're doing. Just yeah. <laughs> you better go by um, Wayne Manor. Oh, dang, right, she's going after Lucius. Jim, Jim, you need to help me. Ouch. Looks like you got yourself Oh, Jim man. with the freaking mustache. Come on. Give me back my face. I'm Bruce Wayne. Get off me. You're ruining my fun. 
That's strange. Isn't she the coolest? No. She's a psycho who turned a guy into a potted plant. What's going on with you? Did he just say Ivy's a psycho? But Ivy's the best. Yo. She got the whole the police yeah. department but Jim. I'm gonna say yeah. What do you mean by Ivy's a psycho? <laughs> Run, oh, Jim. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, Oswald. That's the Arkham's treating you well. I'm surprised he actually I, I, visited I him. I think you're here to glow. You are correct. I am going to wipe that smile off your face. Preferably with a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that. Oh. I am held captive all day by a brilliant selected way. This prison must be broken. He. My name which must be spoken. You're still in there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cap. The boys and I were talking, and we didn't really like the way that you were talking about Ivy. I told you we uh, should have left. Exactly. You're not really selling it. No. And you think you did? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh. I'm in prison right now. A prison where you can't get to me. So he's being a mime. <laughs> Intrigue. Is he playing along? <laughs> Batman. <laughs> oh, Crime Alley. Yeah, that's definitely Batman. The kid whose father, you and your partner, killed all those years ago? Ah, uh, so true. How is this possible? Lucius, you okay? I'm in the sweet embrace of one of my favorite people, Jim. Never been better. <laughs> now I know you're tenacious. Jim Gordon, oh, Connor, snap no out of it, Lucius. I must warn you, I'm a black belt in jujitsu. Is he? Night classes. <laughs> wow, that, those night classes did not work. Please. You're scared. You should be. Cool. It's okay, Bruce. It's all right. Got in just in time. But what I saw. It was real. Yet yeah, you saw Jim with a mustache. Jim doesn't have a mustache. Because our whole lives not real. Like they really are. I'm not. When I was under, I saw you. You had a mustache. <laughs> no, you mentioned it. Well, clearly, Wait a minute, I'm talking about. And doesn't in the comic books and even in the animated series, he has a mustache. Ah, huh, so like, why wasn't that clicky on me? I need your help, Alfred. No. Please call me. I want an APB on Ivy Pepper. Finding her is our top priority. All yeah. Right, heard of people. Let's get to work. Cause now she got those lather Lazarus pit water. Thank you so much for coming. I thought we were overdue for a chat. How could I say no to my sister-in-law? Oh my gosh! Don't tell me. Everyone here on your thumb. The guards. Inmates. What can I say? I'm a charismatic guy. You could escape any time. Why stay? Mm. Why indeed? That is true. Why is he not escaping? Right. I'm in this funny farm because I need to find the creme de la crazy. 
which is why I need you. They'll come around. They always do. He's gonna team up with Jerome by the end of this. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, like, they left town and now she was, like, inhabiting their place. No. So, based off this episode, we basically find out, okay, what's gonna happen with this season. It's gonna basically be Jim versus Poison Ivy, you know, Jerome trying to get freaking Penguin to team up with them, and Bruce no longer being a dickhead, thank God, oh my goodness gracious, it's like, the dickhead Bruce, I didn't like him from. I never liked freaking Bruce from Jumpstart, really. It's like, okay, I know why you're there. Because, hey, it's Gotham. You need freaking Bruce about the Batman thing, okay. In my opinion, they really should have had more of a, like a freaking like cameo or thing. And do like the Fish Mooney thing where she's not always there and she just comes back, back and forth, does a little thing, and then she dies and comes back, does a little thing, leaves, comes back, and dies. <laughs> but with Bruce, just does so cameo, talk to freaking a few people, whatever, and then just go and leave, whatever, I don't know. Like, they could have just had him, like, come occasionally, you know, do whatever, like, business at, um, you know, Wayne Enterprises and have him, like, leave off somewhere else. That could have been great, you know, but I don't know, like, am I just hating? I was literally having this conversation with someone else. It's like, is my hatred for freaking Bruce because, you know, the actors portray him, like, the actor plays and, like, does it... <laughs> dickhead Bruce so well I'm supposed to hate him or maybe I just hate the character in general though because there were times when I, when they were doing the freaking uh, Court of Owls thing whatever at what point I'm like okay I'm actually digging his story it's getting like really interesting I'm not really bored off my mind with it but with this him being a dickhead I'm like uh I don't know maybe so but thank goodness it was like this episode they actually do I really cannot stand another episode and thank goodness he actually just called out for it and was like dude I need you man I need you. And then freaking Alfred's gonna come and, you know, actually hug him and all. Maybe to actually give him, like, a little nudge in the head or whatever. Like, you fool. <laughs> now you wake up. I've been trying to wake you up for freaking weeks. Six weeks or even more than that. Because that's freaking the time when, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, Penguin was in the freaking asylum, though. But speaking of the damn asylum, like, again, at one point I was hyping it up. We are gonna have Penguin and Jerome working together. But at this point, it's like Jerome wants the Penguin to you know, work with him. But at this point... I don't think that's even going to happen. If anything, he might just like trick him to actually think that he's working together so he can actually just bust out thing with the help of the freaking the Riddler at this point because now it looks like freaking Ed Negrick went there just to like gloat and be like, oh, I just want to see you suffer, but I'm here happy. But no, it's reality. It's just his mind just trying to lure him there so we can actually give him that riddle. So saying like, yeah, I'm going to bust you out of here because I think that with you, freaking Cobblepot, you're going to help me escape this funk. So... That's probably what's gonna go down with that freaking arc with Jerome and thing. But at the same time, it's like, what did Jerome mean? He's looking for, like the creme de la crazy. Like, who is this person? Is he already there? Or is he waiting for that person to come to the asylum? Right? But it's like, what are you planning, Jerome? To the point that out, outside is gonna be the new asylum. Like, what are you gonna do? Arkham City everything? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. It's like, again, I just love the Jerome actor in here. It's just it's crazy. He even went along with c craziness that of, like, freaking Cobblepot, like, pretending to be a mime and thing, he was going along, I'm like, really, just really, but, at least he actually did just break him out of the freaking funk, wherever he was having for six damn weeks, but, Jim and Poison Ivy, damn it, like, when the moment I saw they already had the freaking Lazarus Piss Waters, I'm like, that was not smart, like, of all places, you're gonna have the Lazarus Pit Water in, literally, in, like, from Wayne Enterprising, like, company have certain people like know about it like if i was smart bruce tell freaking lucius yo take this to a secret organization not secret organization take it to a secret place and you'll deal with it not take it to freaking wayne enterprises and stuff to the point that you know how wayne enterprise is shady as f why would you put it there not only that though now to the point that literally now people could literally go in there and just steal it like freaking poison ivy just did like seriously to the point that if no one else just bruce and lucius were working on that thing a project m like they would never would have went to freaking such lengths even like hide it to the point that it would have been no one poison ivy probably would never would have found it one reason how poison ivy was able to find it because you actually learn about that one 
dude who's working on it like was destroying plants and stuff but not really destroying plants from the way she figured it out but if it wasn't for that they probably she probably would never found the last of his waters to this point now i can just literally see that if somehow you know, Jim even shoots poison ivy. She's probably just gonna touch the lads with, with water and whatever and bathe in it, and bam, she comes back to life. <laughs> like, this is what I was kind of like, worried about at the point that are they gonna like literally abuse the lads with his waters on character to the point that when they're supposed to die, somehow they're gonna come back. Like, ugh, hopefully it won't happen and I'll be okay. If not, why? <laughs> why did you abuse the lads with his waters, writers? But till then, like or dislike the video combo, what you guys saw the episode. If you new, please subscribe. I'm the Broke Black Man 94, and I am signing on.